What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol LGVN for Long Everon. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, yes this will of course be an update on the stock, we've covered it a number of times on the channel here. I want to clear some air, I want to talk about something. This level at 45.42 is not random, I did not put it on there because of today's session. In the past, the last video we did on the stock, we had a level up here at an overnight high at around 39 bucks. Now, as I always encourage you to do, you need to update your levels as the bell actually rings. So where was the overnight high? It was when we did the video here at 39. As you can see, a couple of minutes later, it made a new overnight high at 45, 40, or 50, excuse me. So that's where that level is coming from. And it's no surprise that that's kind of where it topped out on today's session. Wanted to clear the air on that before someone says, hey, your level is at 39, not the high. No, that's essentially the adjustment that needs to be made as you're acting actively monitoring a stock. With that out of the way, let's talk about the fact that this has now gone parabolic. And usually when we've recognized that something has gone parabolic, it's usually too late to get involved in a risk friendly manner. Now, I'm not saying you can't trade this, you can't scalp it back and forth, but for like a new swing trade, expecting this to continue to 100, I mean, sure, it could do that. Anything can always happen in the stock market, but I really think that the risk outweighs the reward in this situation. Think about this, right? If you were to just blindly be a buyer up here, just expecting it to continue on its merry way up to 100, let's say it pulls back to about 20, right? Just for round numbers sake, you just took essentially a 50% loss on your position. Now, just to get back to break even, not to insult anyone's intelligence, but you would need a 100% move back in your favor, right? From 20 up to 40. Now, to become profitable, you would need a greater than 100% move. And although the stock has already done that, it's exhibited that it can do that, it's very rare for that type of activity to unfold in any given market once the parabolic pullback has unfolded. So in speaking of parabolic pullbacks, oftentimes when the pullback does come, it usually cuts deeper and goes to places people don't want it to go in the first place, uh, which is why I'm not ruling out this sort of section of the chart here for a deeper pullback. That's really where the value is. You can see we consolidated there, got some price acceptance there. So if this thing unwinds, that would be the first place that I would start looking for, okay? With that out of the way, that's sort of the risk management portion of today's video. Let's take a closer look at the technicals and talk about what might unfold into the shortened day on Friday and early next week. So in terms of candle structure, I mean, certainly a bullish candle here closing at the highs, very little lower wick as well. It's bullish. There's no arguing that. If we look at volume as well, it was on par with what we had expect for an elevated or rather expansion of range type move. So that checks out as well. Taking a closer look at the 30 minute time frame chart, what I would also point out from a volume standpoint while we're still sort of on that is look at how dramatically lower Tuesday's session was during that pullback. I mean, just a thing of beauty illustrating that people are not running for the exit sign, just some profit taking. And as the volume floods back into the stock, AKA today's session, it really takes back off to the upside. So thing of beauty there from a volume perspective, good example to illustrate from a technical uh, levels perspective, what do we need to see hold? I would really start putting a lot of emphasis on if we grab the other tool here, this level, okay? We can clearly see that the stock likes to use break and retest. Here's an area of resistance. We broke it, retested, next run. Here's an area of resistance. We broke it, we retested, we ran, correct? You can do the same thing over and over again. Here's resistance, we broke it. Essentially, we retested it here, failed a little bit lower. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna ignore that, but then we kind of ran from there. So if there is a break of this here, which there has already been and a retest at 34 that's the first area to be watching out for support if we also take out the Fibonacci tools coming in from the low of today's session all the way on up to the high, what you'll notice is the 38.2 is almost right there. You can also adjust this a little bit, right? Oops, if we want to activate that, here we go, activate and pull this down to the low of the entire move, right? That makes it align even better to that structural element right there. So from a Fibonacci perspective, I like healthy consolidation that happens here. A breakout up and over the highs takes us into blue sky territories. I would really watch out for 50 bucks, the nice psychological number from there, walk up your levels, whole and half dollars, intraday levels that do form on the hold of uh, that 34, which is the 38.2 and structure and the breakout up and over 45, 50, 45, the nice round number. That's the upside case. If it starts violating 34, this is where I would start to be very, very careful in the stock, noting that that parabolic pullback, which we mentioned, could start unwinding. Okay, so a breakdown of this level, first must hold support is here at 24. It's not quite the 61.8, 
but it's enough of a structural element here where if we break down further, I really think that starts triggering some more panic in the stock. And again, if you're a buyer at, uh, you know, 42, 45, 40, even that already took us back down lower into like sub 20. Okay. So that's that parabolic pullback, which I was mentioning where this move unwinds, you don't want to be on the wrong side of that. So again, if you are intent on trading this to the long side up here, you need to use a stop loss and you need to respect it. You need to have the discipline to actually stop out and not say, Oh no, it's still going to 100 and just hold on to your bleeding position. Much better to get out now, save yourself some dollars and potentially reposition if a uh, new setup does occur. So those are really my thoughts on the stock. As of right now, it's all about, can we hold up in this level right here, consolidation break, fine. If it pulls back deeper, all eyes on 24. And if 24 goes, that's where you do not want to touch this thing to the long side, expecting that deeper pullback to unfold. That's really going to wrap up the video. As of right now, in the post market, we are trading right around here. So we'll see if it holds again, half day on Friday, day off tomorrow. It's really about next week for this stock in my estimation. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all that being said, I wish you a green trading week.